e watch. The Brother Brothers. Hey, Gene. How you doing, Billy boy? What's going on, man? Two o'clock, West Coast. Uh huh. All right, we got lots of people today, Gene. You know why? Go ahead, tell them. Two very big reasons. One, David Redman is here. Number two, we're announcing the winner of America's Got Muppet Talent. And we'll, we're going to do that towards the end of the show. So we're going to do that thing where they make you wait, right? The anxiety and the tension. Yep, we force you to hang around to hear. So you have to watch the whole show, whether you like us or not. The longer you wait, the more you can phone your friends to tune in. <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, and they're still tabulating the votes, apparently. Um, Gene and I, yeah. there's a, we did this a very special way. We, um, we got seven squirrels. And every time there was a vote tabulated, it drops a nut. And so then they eat the nut, and then that's how they're tabulated. So we're still waiting for them to finish the nuts. Uh, and once they do... Awesome. And flossing. And then once they do that is when we'll make the announcement. But let's get on with it because I'd just rather see this lovely man that's here with us as soon Should as we possible. do our little business. Quickly, yes. I'll do you first. Go okay. see www. W, oh, how many W's? Three? I, w, I, I use w, nine. Gene has nine W. GeneBeretta.com. And you can see his artwork and his books and. Um, his, um, do you have anything else there besides artwork and books? Oh, the character design, other no, artwork. No. Have, yeah, but don't bother with that. It's not that good. Yeah. And what else? <laughs> <laughs> and don't go see Jules Little Gems because there's, oh, God. It's lost its appeal. It's, and so. there's only four episodes. I mean, if you haven't seen them by now, just forget it. It's just a bear. Oh. Gene's Cool T shirt episode, what, six? Oh, yeah. I love this one. Look at that. Every year you've got their hair, the Beatles hairdos. Oh, that's year. cool. Very cool. cool. Mustaches. Yeah. Got my Abbey Road hat just to follow the theme. Very good. And uh, go to the BerettaBrothers.com where you can join the mailing list and you can go to our YouTube channel and subscribe, of course, and uh, spread the word, folks, so we can this bring place. you more shows like this and more guests like this. Should we just say who's... Oh, great. What did I do? <laughs> I swear to God, my my ring finger hit hit the shift key. What did you What did you tell me before we started? <laughs> it's going to be a, not a sloppy show. I put my hand down and my ring finger hit the the shift key. That's what I happened. Uh, what was that? When uh, we had um, who was singing Frank, and I laughed, and I hit the key, and you could hear me laughing while he was doing his his song. So we have let just real quick people that are here. Let's just say we got. We got American Autistic is with us. Nick Kramer. We've got Jesse Oliver, Ashley Colley, Nick. Oh, we said Nick Kramer. Dwayne Fletcher, Deborah Forth, one of our contestants. Uh, who else? Uh, Scott Joy, one of our finalists. Uh, Eve Connie. Hey, Eve. Yes. Hello. Hello. Uh, Christopher Smigliano. I love that name. Frank Eva Jim. Eva Jim. Right. Eva Jim. Eva Jim. Eva Jim. Marcello. We got Marcello. Sean Holmes. All right, everybody's here and they're excited, but Jonathan they just want to see David. So let's okay. shut up ourselves and bring on the guy we love. Ready? You Ladies and gentlemen, you. writer, producer, director, Muppet performer, I'll say extraordinaire because it's true. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Redman. Good one. You. You. No, no, you. You. Oh, you. Oh, my. My goodness. Well, David, thanks okay. for coming on. We really appreciate you being with. Thanks for coming on. There you go. <laughs> that was David Rudman, and uh, great having him here. I learned a lot. I know. I had no idea he did those things. Mm. Mm. 
I had no idea he was doing Bert and Ernie simultaneously at the some same of those time. Stories. Who yeah. knew that? Yeah. Wait, he's still there, Gene. I think. Why is he still? Oh, uh, he's like he's waving. virtually knocking at the door. Let's bring him back for a second. Oh, why? Hey. <laughs> uh oh, we, we did that. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> Hi, David. Hi, Hi David. guys. Hey, man. Hey. How's How you doing? Do? Good. Uh, Good. Yeah. Good. We're, we're, we're happy to have you here. I'll tell you that much. Thank you for having me. Uh huh. Yeah. You're, uh, you're a get because uh, you don't do a lot of these. I don't. So, yeah, why? I don't do much. Why? Why? David? why, why? I nobody asks. People, if someone would ask, oh, I'd say, sorry. sure. No, um, I um, I don't know. I just uh, you just don't like it. Yeah, yeah. I don't really love it, but it's it's fine. I mean, I it's all right. It was nice having him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna come back, and I'm gonna be gone. No, no, right. don't don't go. Okay, <laughs> all right. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, um, uh, everybody's saying hi, David. All the people out there, everybody saying hello. Um, here's a question. I'm going to bring one right up right away because it okay. starts us off in a good way. You ready? Yep. Uh, wait, it just moved. Hi, David. Aiden Bell's best puppet Muppets. Hi, David. When did you first discover puppetry? Uh, well, I would say probably when I was about eight years old or so. And it's really from watching the Muppets. I think it was puppetry on television. That really was the thing that drew me to Sesame? puppetry. Sesame? So it was, yeah, Sesame. I think I was five or six when Sesame started. So I kind of, you know, was a little old for it, but maybe not too old for it. But I think when I got to be seven or eight, I started to look at it in a different way and I sort of appreciate it for the puppetry. And not so much right. learning about letters and numbers. It was sure. like watching it and thinking, like, how do they do that? Like, how are yeah. they? How, how do they make those things? How are they working them? Yeah. And so that really drew me into to puppetry. And then I just wanted to like figure out how to do it. And so I started building puppets at home. Oh, um, so so yeah. you were so you were into puppetry before you became like like was it something you thought you wanted to do or was it just about no. entertaining as a whole yeah it just i was really into art and i was really into you know doing something creative and yeah. when i saw the muppets and the puppetry it was sort of a combination of things i loved i loved to make sculptures i loved oh. to do voices i loved to like you know do little cartoons and so when I saw the Muppets, it was like all of that combined together. It was these sculptures right. that yeah. somebody made. And instead of just putting it on a shelf and looking at it, you actually could bring it to life. Yeah. And uh, and so then I started to just, you know, make puppets out of just whatever I had around the house, really. And it was just, I never thought I would do this professionally um, right. at, at that young age. But I just, um, you know, I knew I wanted to do something creative. Like I knew I wanted to be involved in television potentially your film or animation or something like that. So and then did, you, did you want to be, did you want to be like the guy who carried the pies down the stairs? <laughs> I, yeah, that, I that would have been, yeah, I did too. I, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we used to, you know, as kids, we used to do like, we used to pretend we were stunt men and we would just run around the school, like tripping down the hall with falling downstairs. And it was really, cause I grew up, this. I grew up with um, SNL, like Chevy Chase. Mm -hmm. And like the early days of SNL was a huge influence on me. And I was in middle school and yeah. I wanted to be Chevy Chase. Like I, we would put on shows for my high school, for my middle school. We would do like live shows, like, you know, Tuesday afternoon live, you know, and a bunch of my friends, we'd all get together and we'd write skits and we would put on these live shows, you know, in the auditorium and our teachers let us do it. And we would right. do like stupid things like the, you know, the clumsiest man on earth. <laughs> you know, competition or something, you know, no, the cl yeah. the clutziest man awards or something. Like that. <laughs> All right. Right. And like, you would have like, you know, just stupid stuff. And so we've never, we've never yeah. talked about this. I did yeah. the same thing. It was all about doing yeah. stunts. Who could make it look the worst we used to do. <laughs> we, uh, we used to go into, we used to go into shopping. Moment. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Jean. Go ahead. No, we used to go into shopping centers and we would have oh, white t-shirts on and plant ketchup bags under our shirts and get in fist fights and pull out you know 
fake guns and stuff. Yeah. And and then we, you know, yeah. we would do things at home just yeah. to practice learning how to fall. Like we would, our steps were carpeted, but we would still, we would dive head first down yep. the steps and roll. And yep. we rarely yeah. got hurt because we learned we, how to do it properly. We did well, the same thing. I used, to have, I used to have a friend who would, like we were riding our bicycles through the park and he would like go really far ahead and we'd be riding, we kind of forget about him and we'd pull up and it'd be this horrible bike accident on the side of the road. <laughs> and he would just be laying there with, you know, oh. just staging horrible accidents. And stuff. Here's what I said. So the scariest, <laughs> mo- oops, I keep interrupting. Go ahead, Bill. Go. No, I was just going to say, it's just so the same of how, what we used to do as kids, you know? It's, yeah. We did a thing where I think Jim was, yeah, do you tell me? I think you were going to talk about me laying under the. This is the, one of the scariest <laughs> moments of my childhood. But no. Let me just say one quick thing. Gene yeah. would come up with ideas, David, right? Yeah. He was kind of the, he was like the one who would organize things. And then I did them, right? So <laughs> not always. Most of the time. You were the stunt brother. Fire. I was set what? on fire. Oh my God. I was, I jumped off a roof. I, yes, I was usually the guy who he got to film doing the stuff that he came up with, but go ahead. Oh my God. So one time we made a dummy. <laughs> We made a life-size dummy with clothes and stuffed it. And there it was the it was the fall and there were piles of leaves along the road. We thought, let's put the dummy in the leaf pile. And as a car comes by, well, so, Bill, you'll be in the pile of leaves <laughs> moving it. Instead of asking you to just be the dead oh, body no. or whatever, oh, no. you move the legs and make it look like someone's hurt. Oh, so no. he did it once maybe. And then he got out of the pile for some reason. And right after he got out of the pile, a car drove right over the pile the and the leaf and the yeah. dummy. Oh I still get <laughs> thinking about it. Yeah. 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 Here's, here's, a, here's a question. Here's a question. Yeah. Dave. Oh, no. Well, that's not the one I wanted. It, every time I go to click, it moves. Basically, they're asking. It's, I don't think it's stated. It's a Kyle Lindsay Hunter. When was the first time you met Jim Henson? Basically, is what. Ah. Uh, um, so I was, um, <clears throat> I was. It was, I started working for the Muppets right out of high school um, the summer before I went to college. Do so I what? started working in the Muppet workshop. So I got a job um, as an intern, basically. Um, you, you but building. Yeah, so I went to New York and I spent the summer in New York um, before I went to college and I worked at the workshop. And so I built, um, like, what did I build? I built like Oscar the Grouch for Sesame Live so this oh, was built. Uh, what year is this? What year this is, is it? 1981. Oh, right. Awesome. Right. So um, it's a little bit of a backstory before I get to Jim. But so right. I started out in in the workshop. Um, I built like a life size Fozzie bear for a display they were doing. I made like I carved Swedish chef hands out of foam for another display, and I built worked on some chickens and things. So it was a really fun summer um, working in the shop. Can and I? The I end, sorry. Can I yeah. say? So who did you interview with to get the the internship? Like who did you who was there? Carly Carly Wilcox. Yeah. So I went and um, I brought a bunch of puppets that I made for the inter for the interview. Um, right. And I went. I think it was like maybe March of my senior year in high school. I went out to New York. Uh, all my friends are going away for a spring break to like Florida, and I went to New York with my box of puppets. <laughs> you know, I went to the Muppet <laughs> Workshop and. I show them to Carol Lee and she kind of was like looking at, I don't know, you know, you remember Carol Lee. She was, you know, she, she used to like really study, like to make sure everything was even and make sure like the craftsmanship was there. So she like was studying these puppets and, and then, and then I left and I thought, I don't know if I'm ever going to get this job. But two weeks later they called and said that they wanted to hire me. So oh. anyway, so yeah, so it was Carol Lee, Ed Christie was in the shop. Jane Gutnick was there. Um, Wow. Everybody else was in London doing Dark Crystal. So Jim, oh, that, oh, you know, everybody, okay. they were doing right. that. Right. Um, so at the, <clears throat> at the end of that summer, I wanted to make an audition, ch- audition tape for Jim because I had never met him that summer he was in London. But they said he was coming back in the fall. And I said, oh, I'd love to be able to make an audition tape for him just to kind of, you know, just so we can show, show him that I can work puppets and do voices and that kind of thing. So you wanted so, to – you, you felt like you – I mean, you're, you were itching to, you wanted to, perform. yeah, you wanted, yeah, to- I wanted, yes, that was really what I wanted to do. Yeah. 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 So I was, so I was looking through the the drawers of puppets and I, there was Elmo was in there, but it was before he was Elmo it was a red monster. 
and oh. I put it on. And so I used him for my audition tape. Wow. And, Do you have and, it? Uh, I don't have it. I don't oh. have the audition tape. But I had him lip sync um, that song from Chorus Line, I Can Do That. You know, I'm watching Cisco Pitter Pat. And there's a tap dancing sounds around the song. So uh, I just had the puppet look like he was tap dancing. It was like what Jim did with Happy Feet, basically. Uh, but I did it with, with that's a great idea to show those skills. So, right? Yeah. So um, so then I left, I left the tape and I went to college. And two weeks into college, I got a call from Jim's secretary who said, Jim watched your tape and he loved it and he wants to meet with you. Wow. So I went back to New York and this is the first time I met Jim. I was, I was sitting in his office just with him. It was just, and he said, we really liked your tape and we really felt like you, Frank did have some notes. That's what he did say. He said, <laughs> Frank, <that's laughs> he said, said we all watch it. I really liked it, but Frank had some, had some feedback. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, and then, uh, and I said, you know, I just, I would, I really want to work for Muppets, but I just started college. And he said, um, you know, go to school, finish college, we'll always be here, and you can work for us during your vacation. Mm. So that's what I did. So I spent four years of college, you know, going back and forth to New York and working on oh different gosh. things while I was in college. So I did Muppet Take Manhattan when I was like, college? I went to you? Connecticut. I went to so Connecticut. You to, so you commuted back and forth. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I would just wow. kind of go which, back and forth. school in Connecticut? UConn. Okay. But it, yeah. You can't but Cornelius? The, what? You can't Cornelius. Cornelius school? Yeah. 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 <laughs> huh. he, he has a college. He has a college. Oh, I had no idea. And what? Everybody goes, uh, oh, they all talk like that. Oh. Yeah. And you have to bundle up. It's real. It's Learn, how to, you learn how to taste. Taste. Yeah. Pitch. You have to grow beard. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. You learn how to pick. Pick wow. ice with the, with the thing. You go, nothing. nothing. Yeah, exactly. Not all about Bumble. That's good. Did you go there? I did oh, for a little while. Oh, yeah. I got kicked out. But uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so that's how I met Jim. That was the first time I met him, and he was, wow. you know, he was. Uh, it was. It was. Uh, he was my hero. Really, I mean, I grew up, you know, idolizing him. So I was, all of a sudden, I'm sitting in his office with him, and I'm just like, oh my god, it's Jim Henson. They're great here. So <laughs> we, we know, really cool. Like I said, so Gene would come up with all of the things, right, that we were going to do. <laughs> Our lives basically, and I would go okay, you know, and I would do, I would follow and do whatever. Oh, right. I would, I go okay, uh, <laughs> but like, but uh, there was a point where you know Gene decided he wanted to make Muppets, and so he wrote to Jim and sent a letter mm -hmm. and sent back instructions on how to make them, and you oh, know, man. that he hand delivered yeah. them. We never <laughs> talked about that. He, <laughs> he knocked on the door and hand delivered it. <laughs> Jim came. Wow. And he, he hung out. We made a couple a, together. He was amazing. He was just—he would go the extra effort to just. Frank, not know, so much. Advantage. Didn't like Frank. Frank, Frank, had some, Frank had some yeah. notes. Frank yeah. Had some yeah. Notes. Frank's Frank. Just so you know, Frank's notes were when I when I lip synced. Yeah. I I didn't vary it. It didn't go like it was all the same. I didn't oh. do like small and big. It was like uh -huh. I needed to vary it more. Mr. Specifics. I still remember those notes. I, my my first note from Frank was when I was doing dinosaurs, and um, I had never done like that kind of suit work before. And he came up to me. I was in, you know, they just took the head off, and I'm sitting in this yeah. big rubber thing. And he comes over and he goes, "You might want to just occasionally ha touch the face with your hands, like connect the head to the body, uh, yeah. uh -huh. lean on it, scratch it, you know." And that nice. was the thing that was what. For me, kind of, I, I realized wow. I was doing everything too big. I yeah. didn't simplify it, but connect the head to the body. Otherwise, it was the subtle. Like, yeah. yeah, subtle moments, subtle real moments that just yeah. made yeah. them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Should we take a couple more questions? Sure. While we're here. Oh, they don't really like him. They're saying, I don't. Oh, yeah. Look at all this. Oh, that's sad. Are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> Come on, let's get on to the winner. All right, I got oh, one. here. Here's oh, one. Oh god. Bratton Hugo asks, David, what was your favorite oh, moment with Richard Hunt? God, that's a great question. That's well, a great question. Yeah, I I spent a lot of time with Richard. We were really close. And um I have so many amazing moments. We went to Peru together. 
we trekked through the Andes to to uh, Machu Picchu. Oh my, oh my god, that that picture just that's amazing. That was uh, when I first started on Sesame Street. I was 22. It was oh. probably 1985, and I had already known Richard because I had already been working for Muppets um, during college. So I really got close to Richard during you know Muppets Take Manhattan, and you know every once in a while when I'd come in. And so when I started working Sesame Street, I was doing his right hand a lot. And uh, that's uh, what? Looks like you're doing both here. I think I'm doing both. Yeah, it was Leo the Party Monster. <laughs> he was a short, <laughs> he was a short lived character, but he was so funny. It was it was a really funny wacko Richard character. Um, but so anyway, so we we did a lot together. We did you know we went like I said we went to Peru. We we flew into Lima, Peru. We took a train to Cusco. We trekked wow. from Cusco to Machu Picchu, a three day trek through the Andes. Um, and we had a we had a guide. It was part of a group. There was maybe twelve people in the group, and there was a guide. And it wasn't like we just wandered our way through. We had someone to help us, you know, get there. But wow. it was it was amazing. And I, I I have so many pictures which I need to find and dig out. But um, that's a great it, moment. I also uh, go ahead. I was just going to say. So it, it must be really interesting for you to be doing performing, keeping the, some of the characters that he created alive you know from yeah headed monster right and yeah Scooter and beaker i mean jan is yeah. like what is that connection like how do you how do, well, how do you find those characters i mean knowing him i'm sure is a big part of it right yeah yeah i mean i think you know i was around those characters for so long and i was around richard performing those characters and i could never do what Richard did because it's just not in me to, you know, like to do it that way. So I had to like, you know, keep the essence of the character there, um, but also make it my own somehow just because the character has to come from me at some point and has to be able to evolve, you yeah. know, and or else it's just, you're just stuck doing an imitation. You know, I mean, you know what that's like. It's sort of like, is, it's, it's like so hard. Yeah. It's so hard. Yeah. It's like, well, because you, you want to, it's so, you want to be true to, you know, the core essence of the character, but you still want to be able to have the freedom to yeah. bring yourself to it and, you know, to ad lib and you need, you need to be comfortable with that character in order to just play, play around. And, yeah. um, and for it to grow, yeah. like you, yeah, for it to, grow. to be, you don't yeah. want to just be stereotypes of themselves, you know, they yeah. have to hopefully grow and change over time. But like you said, maintain the essence of who they are and the yep. original uh, yeah. kind of, you know, uh, yeah, basically who, who they are and where they came from. But yeah. still allowing yourself to become a little part of that's the hardest yeah. part. Yeah, I think I think in a, you know I think for Scooter there was like a, you know it's more of a subtle thing with him. I mean he's different than the way Richard played him, but he's kind of the same. Oh, but, he is. Um, yeah. But you know the other the thing about him is you know he always had that green Muppet Show jacket. Right. And you know everyone loves it, and I love that jacket, that sort of satin yeah. Muppet Show. But I think in order for that character to evolve that jacket had to like go, like it had to. And I think once we changed, you know, his wardrobe for Muppets, you know, the, the series in, in 2015. Yeah. And, you know, it's so funny. Oh, Remember know, we were, we were the movies. We changed him, right? A we little bit. In Muppets Most bit. Wanted. He did. He yeah, right? maybe. I think Muppets I, I, Most I don't wanted. remember, but I know for the series that was like, Oh yeah. Because, you know, because remember they came to us and they, we wrote down things that we wanted to do with the character. And I, one of the things I said was maybe change the wardrobe and give them it's kind of like what I'm wearing now. Like put on like a hoodie yeah, with like a plaid yeah. shirt and a t-shirt yeah. and the costume, I think it was Stefan, Stefan said, yeah. said the same thing. Like we both were so in sync with how to, oh, wow. you know, evolve his wardrobe. And yeah. I mean, that was a small thing, but it helped in it helped me. Small. It helped me in like finding something, you know, within the character that I could, you know, help evolve. Yeah. 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 Uh, I want to um, continue to talk about the Sesame Street and Muppet work, but I'm also curious to talk about the work you do outside of that and your production company and the shows you do for Nickelodeon and, and some of the other channels. And yeah. this is the perfect question to start that off with from yeah. Fergie, one of our contestants. 
He asks, what things did you learn working on Sesame Street and the Muppets that you try to incorporate with the different spiffy productions? That's a great question. Well, I think the the main thing is I learned from Jim and Frank and Richard and Jerry and Dave how to run a set. Like, you know, you've heard it before that like Jim was so collaborative. Everybody felt free to, to, to throw out ideas. You know, there was no egos. It was, yeah. you know, best idea wins, that sort of thing. Yeah. And um, that's what I, that's all I knew. I thought every set was like that because I grew yeah. that's the only set I'd ever been on yeah, yeah. was Muppets. You know, I learned from, from being around all those guys. So I thought that's how every show, every movie was run. And it wasn't until a few years later when I worked on other shows that weren't mine, but other productions, like, what's going on? Why, why is this so difficult? Like, why yeah. is there all this animosity and there's like all this other stuff going on? And yeah. yeah, it was just, it was, I just didn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware that that was how other, a lot of other shows are run and that happens. Yeah. Not all the shows, yeah. but a lot of shows. So anyway, yeah. so what I, what I try to bring to our spiffy shows is that, um, that vibe in the studio and, you know, that open sort of feel that everyone, no matter who you are, you can contribute. And then everyone just wants to come to work and everyone feels like they're like a part of the show. And, you know, everyone just comes in excited, excited right. to like come and play. So I always hear people love working with you, working with you guys. I mean, they just love it. And, and you know, and, and I, I know, I'm sure learning that stuff, like you said, from Jim and, and the way, like that's all you knew, right? Yeah. But I, but I also think he must have chosen people that, like he felt fit, right? And so there's something special about you that is a big part of that feeling. I mean, I know when I first started in, there's all we, you know, there's all different, uh, <laughs> different types of people, right? All the yeah. different performers were all different. Sure. But yeah. you, you are always somebody that's been steady in just like calm like there's no there's no there's nothing to be crazy about here there's no anger you know there's nothing to get at you know what i mean there's you don't bring any of that stuff and that's yeah. like, like i i always say i learn all kinds of things from everybody i kind of i'm like a sponge you know when i came in i was taking things and one of the things honestly i learned from you is that you're here you're here to enjoy it you work hard at it you do a great job you real i know you care about making it as good as possible, you yeah. know, and yeah. um, <clears throat> and I just admire that so much about you. And I and I also think, knowing you personally, what a great dad you are, and what Very a great nice. family man. Well, it's true, what a great family man you are. And so we we just thought, you know, it might be kind of cool to um, oh. get, get some <laughs> some opinions. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Are you kidding me? Welcome! <laughs> oh my God! I'm in a what cry a handsome family. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. I, Karen, I Karen, you knew about this. Karen's like, when you, Karen's like, when are you doing your thing? What's this? What you, what's the thing you're doing? What is this thing? Are you gonna wear that for your thing? <laughs> but then it works for the stupid thing. So you know, I was wrong. Oh God, I want to hug you guys. Hey, look at this. Like, so, like, yeah. so, so David, on, everybody. David oh so David, when I when you we had talked before, when we had talked before, and you said how excited you were that you were going to finally get to everybody together in yeah. the very near future, and you're planning yeah. this trip, uh, it just hit me that maybe we could just get a little. Little kind of preview Appetite. for you. <laughs> Not that you don't oh talk to these beautiful God. people, but we just thought. I, and Unbelievable. I, honestly, what I said, I meant, David. That I just think you're a, a, an amazing family man, and I really wanted to have your family chime in and let people know that you know you're not as bad as you seem. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Let me just mention well, when you were mentioning earlier about you know David on the set is very even keeled, and I, I saw a couple of them smiling in the virtual green room. Now, does that mean that it's true or not true? No, it means it's, no, it's totally true. true. Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh my God! Is he, I cannot is he really believe Karen? this. Karen, is he is he kind of that even keeled most of the time? Is he? Yeah, really, he really yeah. is, right? It keeps yeah. making me like, yeah. Because I can get, you know, I get a little crazy. Now, where, does that come, where do you think he gets that from? Where do you think he got that from? Anybody? Just a personality trait. Hmm. I think hmm. that uh, 
Definitely not from Papa. Comfortable in his own skin. <laughs> no, not from my dad. No. He's very comfortable in his own skin. You know, he. This is a passion. It's who he is, and that kind of exudes into everything he does. I think right. when you're happy with what you do, it's it's a gift. Mm, I can't right. believe you guys are here. And just, <laughs> just, just, hey. just, how are you all available? How are you yeah, all free right, right now? I, Don't you have a class? Because of you, that's why. <laughs> 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 Oh my but god! But every just so just people out there know that every they're all spread all around the country and doing their their lives and uh, yeah, it's just yeah, worked out good. that that you all were able to do it. Marley, how are oh you? Good. Oh I'm good. I'm I'm like I was proud. I know. <laughs> I know you all love you. I can't believe you did this. Oh my god! I know. And Phoebe, yeah, how are you doing? Great. I'm good. When you sent the email, I was like. This is perfect. <laughs> like he's gonna freak out. Yeah, I was hoping he cry. Uh, Are you crying? Get close. I, Let me see I your am. Eyes. No, I am absolutely crying. <laughs> Guys, I cannot. There he is, full <laughs> screen. <Yeah. laughs> oh my god. And Noah, you good? You're. I know you're out uh, yeah, near me. Yeah, yeah, we're in the same part of the world. <sighs> and Hollywood, what's going on? Uncle yeah. Billy. Uh, <laughs> great <laughs> idea, Uncle Billy. This was this was great. Uh, Phoebe, well, I'm in your room, by the way. I know, I you saw. Know, I'm in Phoebe's room. <laughs> yeah, it's the same color. Anyway. I, the lamp. I had yeah, to go. It's a new lamp. Porch. I got to, I'm like freezing in the screen and porch, but I didn't want him to like see I was out. Oh my I God. cannot oh believe you did this. You guys look great. Oh my Dad, God. Dad, were you wondering why I called mom 48 times yesterday? <laughs> I yeah, I was wondering. I didn't get it. We I really wasn't wondering. I, lonely. No, remember you go. Why is Joey calling? You I know. So there are a few people. A few people. A few people in our chat that are tearing up a little bit too. Yes, <laughs> crying yeah. too. Yes, they are. I so what? So what's it like um, as as uh, a family uh. of. of <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe what's it, this. What's it like as a family of somebody like David Rudman, who is an iconic Muppet performer uh, and uh, and writer and director? What what is it like growing up and being a part, being around the Muppets for you guys? What what's that experience like? Is it is it unusual? Is it something you grow up with? You seeing these characters and then you meet them, or does it just feel like it's Family. I mean, what, what's the yeah, my, my earliest memory is just feeling like, isn't everyone's family like this? Doesn't yeah. everybody? <laughs> everyone's dad does that. Yeah, yeah right. people are always like, "Wait, that's so crazy." I'm like, "No, no, like that's just just a job." How it is. <laughs> just a job, no. Like, do you think yeah. it's weird? Yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> right. But it's right. like it's it, it's so fitting for who our dad is that he has so, it's such an iconic voice and plays these voices that people know all, all over the world yeah when he right. walks down the street no one knows yeah. who he is and i think that's exactly how you'd like it that's interesting yeah, yeah the anonymity of it right yeah, yeah. i think yeah. i noticed yeah. that with most of the muppet yeah. performers is they love that side of the career the anonymity of it and then they yeah. still get a chance to perform in some of the biggest venues in the world yeah, well, yeah. We always laugh, like the other Muppet wives and I, we always laugh because there does seem to be like a commonality where like as people, they're kind of shy and quiet. Like, people can't believe that that's what David does because like what you described earlier, he's humble, he's quiet. But yet when he puts on the puppet, he is hilarious and funny. Not that he's not funny when he's, you know, he's always funny. funny. <laughs> With our crazy, he doesn't. He doesn't walk into a room and want to be the life of the party. Right. You know, he, right. he, you know, takes it all in and and it all comes out later, like, like yeah. it, his characters and through his creativity. So, did did you, ever, David? Did you ever hear Jerry's story about Al Pacino? Yeah, the anonymity on the airplane. Yeah, on the I airplane. Yeah, oh my yeah. god, it's so <laughs> yeah. great. I feel like it's just, just real quick. If I just say, just to sum it up. Yeah, yeah. So, the, no, so Jerry Nelson, who people out there will know, uh, is flying on a plane. He happens to be sitting next to Al Pacino, and they're talking. And it's around the time of the Muppet Show, and they're flying from New, from L.A. to New York. And um, Al finds out who Jerry is, and <clears throat> and he says, "Don't you have 
you know, don't you want people to know who you are? You know, how people don't recognize you. And she's like, no, I don't think so. I kind of like it this way. He's like, are you sure? I mean, isn't that what we do? That's ego, our egos. And that's what I, you know, I'm out there. She's like, nah. So finally they land in New York and they get off the plane. And as they're getting off, Al Pacino is mobbed. People are, are grabbing him and then they're all around him and people are trying to keep him away. And Jerry kind of just slips in behind him and he goes, take it easy, Al. And he just walks around the crowd <laughs> <laughs> and goes on his merry way. You know? hey, I, have a, I have a question yeah. for one of the family members here. Hmm. <clears throat> and Sam Thomas nine Thompson nine. Uh, oh my God! How do they know? How do they know? How do they know? How do they right hand. <clears throat> Joey know? and Phoebe have done it. Joey and Joey's yeah. done it quite a few okay. times. Okay. Um, it was such a fun experience, and it definitely made our quarantine so much fun. But like, I was able to watch what my dad does, and I definitely underestimated everything that he yeah. like how hard it is. Like I would hold my hand up for like five minutes and be like, okay, <laughs> when's this gonna be over? And he would like be, go like whatever. And just like everything, like he's able to just be, it's so impressive. And I was able to see that when we were like working together throughout the summer. That's and I haven't been able to like see from behind the stage like that. Yeah. Right. Um, Phoebe was a the natural. manager. Phoebe, right. Phoebe was a natural. Yeah, the yeah. monitor being yeah. backwards, I yeah. couldn't get that. TV no. got, he also needs credit because she got really good at puppeteering in like over the course of like three months. Like, yeah. To, like, I had Noah. Like, yeah. Noah was doing my It was really opinion. impressive seeing yeah. just how Phoebe learned yeah. it and got good. Wow. Yeah, Phoebe was great. Really? But Noah was yeah, doing all my, amazing. Noah was doing the audio and the video. All because we shot a ton of stuff from my home oh my gosh, over the right. last few months, just a bunch of the cookie stuff and the and the Muppet stuff we were shooting. Yeah. Um, and so I had my crew. I had Phoebe and Noah How helping lucky. me, and wow. it was so fun. It really was just so fun hard. working with everybody. Yeah. Amazing. I I've had Jackson help out a little awe. bit. Yeah, you were in awe. Yeah, I know it's weird, isn't it? It's like how <laughs> they were filming something for something for the Muppets, and just seeing him go from each character, like mm. different personalities and different. It, I was just like seriously in awe watching. You learn kind of what a schizophrenic like, totally. your dad is. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Huh? He's pretty good. Oh he just, right. He's so easily just like makes the person, the character come to life. Right. Right. And then I Are would try you... and like, it would be like looking the wrong direction. And like... <laughs> <laughs> Are any of you following in the entertainment uh, field? Any of the siblings? Ah, uh, Hollywood. Hollywood. Yes. Noah. Hollywood. He, he gave me yeah. the bug. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, awesome. Karen, yeah. I know uh, you guys, you, you've been together for a little while. And uh, yeah, 31 years. 31 years. 31. Oh yeah. my gosh, wow. that's amazing. So, uh, traveling, right? All Not the traveling, traveling with all the kids. And so having your own kids, your own career, my own right. I mean, that's got to be. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I know in my little world, and I don't have four <laughs> kids. I just have one. But uh, you know, what's that like? Being able to ha to have try and have a career of your own as well as supporting his and having the family together. And I mean, what is that? Kind so, of like? well, first of all, David inspired me to go to art school go back to get my master's. I was mm. working at Marshall Fields, which became Macy's. Um, right. And when we started dating, I I mean, I knew David from high school, so I've known him most of my life, but- Way too long. Way too long. <laughs> when we started dating, I said, I've got to find something I love to do. You know, he was just immersed in what he was doing. So right. I l literally got my master's right before I had Joey and Ten days later, we went to London for Muppet Christmas Carol for the summer. Oh my god! Yeah, so Joey's passport. You know, his crazy. passport was a little baby, baby picture on his passport. <laughs> and I went, <laughs> what am I doing? And my doctor said, "You fit your baby into your lifestyle. You don't fit your lifestyle into your baby." And I met Debbie yeah. Goals, and thank God I met Debbie Goals because we were together every single day. And I just dragged this baby around with me and. <laughs> You know, and then once they got old enough that they were in school, I stopped traveling as much. And right, right. I do have one funny, really funny story. Yeah. So 
I was with all four kids. David was in New York and he called on the phone. I was just having one of those witching hour, horrible moments. And he called on the phone and I had him on speakerphone. And as I'm hitting speakerphone to answer, Marley looks up and goes, mommy, I don't feel good. I pick her up and she throws up down my back. And David says, hey, I just worked with uh, Tyra Banks and Cindy Crawford all day. <laughs> and I'm standing in a pile of rubble. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so hard. I was so mad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Of him with, like, Julia Roberts from the same Right, school. right. And, like, I always remembered, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember that day. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I like I know like even I mean when we did um Muppets Most Wanted, the kids came, Christina yeah. set up like, the school for Muppet it. School. Yeah. We had a right. Muppet School uh, for all the kids. Yeah. That was awesome. I only had two there then. <laughs> right. in college. They both came to visit at different times, but um yeah, it was really hard to go places with all four. I mean yeah. Uh, or a lot of times I wish we had done it and I, I wish I could have been a little braver doing it, but it's a it, lot. It it's was a lot. lot. I mean, yeah. I remember when we went, when Joey was a baby, Frank was there with all of his kids and he had like two limousines and like, you know, Joey. Yeah. Is that a face? Hollywood. It's, it's Hollywood. Hollywood. It's Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. Sorry, Hollywood. Is that a face in the mirror behind you, or am I seeing a ghost? What is that? That's <laughs> a painting. It's like a painting or something. Uh, it's a painting in a mirror. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let me. Clear That's it. our friend Mona. That's Mona. Oh, oh I see. Uh, got, uh, it's Amanda. Amanda's painting. Oh, did Amanda make that? That's Joey's wife, Amanda. She painted yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of fun. Joey's wife is an artist, and Marley's fiance is a, mu a musician who now is getting into scoring music. and. We're all like, like yeah. Partridge family now. You can make a yeah. family production company. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, I, I mean, I, I yeah, I hate to may I ask you guys oh to go, God. but we have a look. I think we that we yeah. we owe the uh, the the, the uh, people out there to ask some more questions. Although, let me just show you real quick, Karen. Here's somebody. Uh, hi, hi. Uh, it's the Muppet. Somebody you know. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you so much for doing this. You guys, are you still crying or are you done? I love you guys. <laughs> love you, Dad. I'm all crying. Love you guys. Love you. Love you, Dad. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Let's zoom. Why don't we all zoom later? Yeah. 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 We can all be yeah. dead. Yeah. All right. See you there. This love is great. You. Bye. Thank all right. you. Thank Bye. you. Bye, guys. Bye, all. all. Take care. Hey, love you guys. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. They're so sweet. Look how beautiful they all are. How do you get out of here? I'm Ooh, Gene will do it. Here He's going to get rid of you. See you, Noah. Hi, Noah. I cannot believe you did that. That is <laughs> unbelievable. That is so incredible. Thank you for doing that, Bill. That and Gene, both you guys. It's, Billy arranged it, of course. I just, it was the best. Best. Well, you deserve it. What the a best. surprise. Totally. I had no idea that was happening. I just, and I meant oh everything I said. I, I, I just think you're such a, uh, a, a, uh, a genuine guy and you and you can feel it in your family when you're with them and uh i love you for that i really uh i think i want people to know that's all very very sweet thank you yeah hey what uh, do you say we do some pick a number uh, yeah you want to play pick a number? number let's do, let's do a, yeah, let's what do it another question or just before we do that since we're okay. uh, We've got the things open here do you see any you want to bring in bill i, I see one. one yeah yeah right. here we'll do this one <laughs> David was a oh my god! Cookie monster, long so long as I bring it. Yeah, over. That's that's so specific. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what. Yeah, it was actually. Gene, there was a whoa, whoa, whoa. There right, was a, he's go. clicking it, and I'm clicking it. Sorry. Go uh, ahead. <laughs> there, so there was there was a sesame bit um, after because I, I started doing cookie in right around 2000. And, yeah. and Frank and I shared it for a few years. So when Frank would mm -hmm. come in, he would still play Cookie. And then when he was gone, I would do it. Um, mm -hmm. So there was one bit where um, they wrote this bit that Cookie and Grover were in together in this one. Yeah. This one scene. Oh, who came so, up with that brilliant idea? I don't know. So and Frank <laughs> was there. So, so I figured 
Frank will do cookie and someone else would work Grover maybe and he would just loop the voice in later. Right. And it was a two it was a two part segment. So it was like the first part was just cookie and then the, then it would cut away to something and then it came back and it was cookie and Grover. Oh, so Frank nice. said, when we come back for the second part, you do cookie and I'll do Grover. And I go, well, you did them in the first part. He goes, yeah, but you could do it for the second part. I go, but it's gonna be right, people, like it's gonna be right one <laughs> after another. Don't you wanna just, I'll do it, but you loop it. He goes, no, no, no it'll be fine. So the bit wow. starts with Frank doing the letter of the day, I forgot what it was. And then it cuts away to something and it comes back and now I'm doing cookie and talking to him doing Grover. And wow. after that, Frank never did cookie again. That was like wow. the last time he did it. And I don't know if it was a conscious thing, but in my well, mind, that was that. him. It was him handing it off to me. Yeah, I'll bet. But I'll I don't know if bet. that was conscious or not. But in my mind, that was sort of him saying, "You mm -hmm. can. This is you can." I'll bet it was David. He's you know, right. He's that way. He right. thinks about those kinds. Of, he has a yeah. very big heart, and I think he does think about those moments. Yeah, it know? might have been because I don't think I he ever did cookie after that. So yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. What what was um. I mean, God, it's such a broad question, but I know people just want to know, like, what, as a 22-year-old guy, was it like to be able to sit around Sesame Street and work in Sesame and watch Jim and Frank play? Um, it was just, it was eye-opening, and it was like, it was just to see how spontaneous and how playful they were. I couldn't believe it. Like, I couldn't believe how it was just, um, it was just the spontaneity of it all it was just like it was and it was just them just talking it through it wasn't like my line your line my line your line it was just like they were just talking it and like sometimes it would go it would veer off in a different direction or it would and they'd come back around right. to it but right. um i just would sit and just like watch them work and, and especially watching frank do grover just to see how he was just so in that character like it was just he was just like so in it that right. He just didn't even know what he was, he was going to say half the time. Like, just would come out. He's so in the moment. Wow. You know, I think just learning about that, learning about being in the moment, you know, I think was really yeah. important. And um, yeah. just that sense of playful, you know, experimental playfulness, you know, which was really part yeah. of it. It was really fun. So, you yeah. know, there's, there's so many, so many things that you've done with the Muppets, whether you want to call it Muppet Show Muppets or Sesame Street. Can I just name some of the stuff and... <clears throat> And then we'll play pick a number. Sure. So, you know, starting with like Muppets Take Manhattan. Holy cow, to yeah. be a part of that, right? Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Muppet Family Christmas. Yeah, unbelievable. Which I love yeah. The, yeah. the Jim Henson Hour, the 3D movie, right? 3D yeah. Vision, Muppet Vision 3D. You even came and worked on Dinosaurs for a minute. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Got, that's, I think, where we first yeah, met. Probably. I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we did, I remember you on Mr. Willoughby's Christmas tree. I know <laughs> yeah. I was, yeah. I did a very <laughs> I remember little on that. Yeah. But I, I was there. Yeah. Aliens in the Family, Dog City, uh, Elma Palooza, uh, Jack's Big Music Show, which is yeah. your own. These are yeah. some of your own uh, productions. Yeah. Uh, um, what Should else? Bunny Town. Let me bring that. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Let me, sure. let me show a couple of your. Your shows here while we're talking about it. Oh yeah, there's Jack. Yep, Jack. Jack. Jack big big show. Show. That was what was your show. first? What was your that first, was, uh, first show you got produced? That well, that was our first series. Okay. But we had we had done um, we had done a bunch of little interstitials for MTV and Nickelodeon, and we, we did a bunch of little short films for Sesame Street, little right. animation things, and but Jack was the first was the first series. That's Bunny Town. And this is, and it, we, sh we should mention your brother. So you and your brother yeah. are partners. Me and Adam. Yeah, we work yeah. together. We work together on all these shows. We co-create them. We co-produce them. Um, you know, we've uh, we've worked together on all these shows since the 90s, really. So, um, wow. and we come up with the idea. It's like you guys. We grew up, you know, making films and doing things together. And uh, right. and then we have Nature Cat on PBS right now. We're writing season four. Of nature that a hit that right is. Now. That's a hit. And yeah. that's going well. We have and, Moynihan on here. He loves working with you. Oh, guys. oh my God. Bobby's the best. Yeah. Let's let's mention this because this is uh this is your newer project. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah. So that's Don Quixote. Yeah. So we're <laughs> we're shooting that right now. Um it's gonna air on PBS in the spring. Um, Who designed it? You? 
I did. Yeah, we're doing it as a co-production with the Fred Rogers company. So it's a character that Fred Rogers created back in the oh. 70s, Don Quixote. That's and we right. were able to we were able to kind of reimagine it and wasn't it a, redesign wasn't it. Was a person in a costume? No, Purple Panda was. That was another character oh, okay. that was a That's costume. Right. But right. Don Quixote was a little donkey puppet. But we were able to use some of the Fred Rogers characters and then also add some of our own original characters into this show. So can you say it's, what it's about at all? Can you give us a hint what it's about? Um, no? It's about, well, Don Quixote is the main character. Um, it's about persistence and like that's sort of like the um, the curriculum, persistence and grit and you know, right. persevering over the, over obstacles. Overcoming obstacles, right. Yeah, that's so that's great. kind of like the, the curriculum, but it's, they're just story, they're 11 minute stories. Um, there's four main characters, Don Quixote, Purple Panda, Bob Dog, and this character, new character, Duck Duck. Those are kind wow. of the main group. And then there's a <laughs> bunch of characters that are on the peripheral. I remember Bob another. Dog. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been, it's been really fun. And we've been able to keep working during this craziness. So that's been. That's amazing, been right? You're doing this all from kind of the COVID safe arenas yeah. that you have, right? The little yeah. worlds that you can stay safe, but still be able to create things. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Why don't we do a couple pick of numbers and then I think people yeah. so what is, so just, hear about our contest winner. Oh yeah. Just think of it. Just so think of it. You're spinning a wheel between the, well, we've shown a few, but between one and 17. Um, let's do, um, let's do seven. Number seven. Why not? Okay. How about this, David? Oh yeah, what was that? That was the it's this the Franny, this Franny it's Brill. Animal. Yeah. And Kevin. How many Emmys Bob. do you have? Do I? I've been nominated for a lot of Emmys. I've never won. Oh, uh, so. not even as an ensemble thing either. Uh, I don't know. I've I've just been I've been nominated for as a performer, as a, a producer, as a writer, but I've never actually won. But I think this was Sesame Street was getting honored. For for maybe the maybe it was the fortieth anniversary, oh. and then Cookie Monster wound up he wound up eating that Emmy award. Like it was a break <laughs> it was a breakaway <laughs> award, and he wound up eating it. And oh. look I how beautiful it. Fran looks! I know Fran, Fran, Bob, Bob, Kevin, and, yep, Louise, Louise back there, yeah, yeah, Emilio, yep. Emilio, yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah. And look at you, you're kind of like Stephen Colbert in a way. <laughs> and there's your audition okay. puppet in the back. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Awesome. All right, spin again. Take another spin. Uh, how about fourteen? Fourteen. Sure. One. Oh, the best you got. We got a star, huh, David? Yeah. We got a star, a star on the Walk of Fame. Fame. That was that during was the Muppet. Muppet, uh, the movie, right? It was right around. Oh wait, that that's time. right. This is from the movie. Is that the premiere? Oh, maybe that's the premiere. I think you're right. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. It's the premiere. Oh my god! Who's, guys. who's that guy in the? Who's the guy kind of in the lurking in the background? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you really not know? That's Bruce. Oh, Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm kidding. I was kidding. Okay, I thought so. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I see Bruce back there. Looking All right, let's yeah. spin again. Let's spin again. Uh. Four. Four. Okay. You're not you're doing really well, not picking the ones we've done already. There we go. Ah. Uh, that was I, Disneyland, maybe? I yeah. think so. Yeah. How about oh, that? Yeah, that was so fun. I that? can't believe we did that. That was, that was crazy. It was crazy. It was really fun. You had a real view. Well, you could see out there. I could right? see. Yeah, because we we were like we like half of our bodies were above the stage so we yeah. we could see i mean that uh, there's a shot somebody has a shot from behind uh floyd and janice where you could see how many people were there and right. I, it's crazy that 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 it was like a real concert i mean it I really felt like we were we were like we, rock stars for a moment it was really you know, cool you know how many they people they said were there i don't know how many in the end by the time we were done Doing I think thirty five thousand people. Oh my god! Yeah, we're on that. We're it. on that big. I believe thing. it. You it must have insane. been shocked because you came off as you know. So many people reported that you were one of the most popular acts of the whole. Um, <laughs> the yeah. whole 
thing. Yeah. Good thing they didn't put the word pre-recorded in there. The, be the yeah. best pre-recorded <laughs> act. Did Although we, we were live. We were singing live. We were yeah. live. We did. Yeah, we, we did. Were. We did. We added things, but um, we did. Yeah, no, but I but we, but I was I was behind you know back behind yeah the piano. So when I first when we first came out and remember we were kind of like peeking just to see yeah. who was there yeah. and it was like two hundred people, kind of wasn't that many. Uh, right, well, that's still a lot. But yeah, but then by the end, the end it was I was like sea what? of people. Yeah. Oh my god! And thank God we had those little things that supported our arms. We had that that harness. Yeah, tell was, people about that. They oh, don't realize what so we had to do. We had like it was like a. Kind of like a backpack and it had a like a like a harness it was a harness but it, then it had a pole with a cup on it that was supporting our arms because yeah and it no had a little flex keep... in it too yeah right? it had a little so you, bit you of could a... like rest your arm if you needed to yeah. you can come off of it and uh you know when because guitars are heavy for and you and you have big dr teeth he's like heavy he's a heavy puppet well and the amount of time yeah. we had to go we went yeah. we knew we could never get through six minutes or seven no minutes way. straight of solid performing and no playing. Way. that's why we took those little breaks right for our video pieces but jane yeah. gutnick helped uh yeah. we, we worked on that together to figure out how, are, what we could do to it was brilliant to yeah stay up and we still use them right? yeah we used them when we did the the um the hollywood bowl oh. too i think hollywood bowl the yeah. o2 <clears Yep. throat> yeah yeah, it's a good thing Jane came up with that. Do one more? Yeah. Yeah, uh, pick one what more. Did I do? Ten. Ten, ten, ten. Okay, here's one. Blah, 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 blah. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That is the, let me just say that was the most fun I've ever <laughs> had on anything I've ever done. It was me. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> two babies and a prop table full of dangerous objects. <laughs> the best. And we had free reign to just do whatever we want with that. Yeah. And we just kept going to the prop table, running in with like a baby running with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> where, and then I and, I and I and I love. There's one other picture. Go ahead. Keep started going. first, and you started with poison, which is like really like the first. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> came right. in, you started with poison, like we had. We had to go further we than that. Me. And it was, yeah. I laughed, I laughed so hard during that. The sword fight. I don't think it, the sword fight was, oh my God. <laughs> Why are babies is the sword most, fighting? It was the most fun. And then we ran out of props and I had my baby pick up cables from That's the ground. Right. From the actual, and I wrapped them around his neck <laughs> and he <kind> of wandered <laughs> over to Seth Rogen with all these cables. <laughs> but well, wait, that was funny. Let me yeah. just say the funniest was at the end where you, because you kept going like, Rogan, and then you yeah. then you went like milk, milk. At the end. <laughs> and, it, and he he's and he goes all right. And he starts like unbuttoning his shirt. <laughs> I don't know if that made it into the final thing. Not the whole way, it, but, but we did get milk in there. And he goes, oh, yeah, so well, funny. he like kind of goes. Oh. <laughs> this is the most but fun the best, I've ever had. I loved. Um, I my favorite part was that they would climb on the table and then just fall off <laughs> onto the ground. <laughs> Just free fall under the floor. <laughs> I have to go watch this again. And it's, he so and Seth funny. was great because Seth was just like, "Why? Why do they know my name? Babies <laughs> do not know my body of work." <laughs> <laughs> he was great. He was great. It was so yeah. fun. Oh, but God. but we should say so. We started these two guys. So when when we were developing oh, yeah. this idea for Muppets Now, <clears throat> uh, we talked about well, what are things that can get in the way of uh, interviews, and so. I had said, well, why don't we just have babies, you know, like Fozzie's babysitting and they just get in the way of everything. And I immediately thought of David and, and, <laughs> and myself because I wanted in on it. But uh, <laughs> when we did Muppets Most Wanted, there were the um, the babies, the gang that helped Ricky Gervais. Mm -hmm. And uh, and David and I started playing. It was the first time we were playing around with these babies and, <laughs> and his baby was so happy and smiley. <laughs> All the time, he's just like, "Yeah, okay." okay. <laughs> my guy, sure. Yeah, my guy, was, my guy was like, "Hey, Chuck, Chuck, go get the, okay. go get the, expo go get like, the explosives." And he was like, "Okay, okay." You okay. <laughs> go get them. He had that so smile. Thought, he had a great oh, smile. Yeah. So cute. Oh so, God. so I thought those two would be great oh, to cute. to team up, and and that's kind of what we did. And, and I said, uh, "That's what we said. Let's just get a table of." props right we'll just scissors and whatever 
<laughs> and I said to David, and I said, we're, let's just go in when we think we should. There was no yeah. real, you know, uh, we're going to come in right here. We let the we let the interview continue, and then David and I just went in. <laughs> I think I, I my baby had a mouthful of jacks, <laughs> like you know, <laughs> and he came, and he just started spitting them out one at a time. <laughs> and Seth Rogen's yeah. like, "Why do you have jacks in your mouth?" And he said, "Oh, oh!" And then I did a um, I had my baby sneeze. And I had water in my hand, and I I flicked it on his arm when I sneezed, and and he he goes, what? Oh God, what is happening? <laughs> the best. Oh my God, that was good. The best. Oh my hey, God, guys. Yeah, I'm glad I picked see, that one. It's, it's gone by so quick. You know what? I bet I bet the winner of this contest would love to hear their names announced by David. Do you well, want to, yes. Let's. You want can to I just to read him? Can I just read who our finalists are? Yeah, but yeah. Why, in the meantime, why don't you text the name to David so okay. he's ready? Okay. Yes, everybody, you've been waiting patiently. Uh, thank you for waiting patiently. We're about to announce the winner of America's Got Muppet Talent. And I'm going to send David the name of our winner. So hang on, folks. It's get Gene. We need a drum roll. Brrr, brrr. So, David, I'm going to send you this. Don't say it yet, David. I want to just mention all of our finalists first. Okay, Gene, I'm going to do that. First of all, let's just say thank you, everybody. It was such mm. a great show, and we love that you all jumped in there to participate and make it such a fun and exciting one. We got so much great feedback, and so many people jumped in to vote. It was successful. Phenomenal. Yeah. And there, there was so many different acts and – varieties and it was just such a we're, so nice to be able to choose from so many talented people david you would be blown away you should go, if you get a chance go back and watch it? yeah it's it's on our youtube page oh, or you can go to our website and see brotherbrothers.com oh and pick last week's episode and you'll see uh you I'm get to see all it. all of the finalists so our finalists were jordan brownlee who sang in our world chris Pfizer, who sang <laughs> muppet or a man <laughs> Deborah Forth sang One Little Star. Stacy Henson, Going Back There Someday. Scott Joy in his rendition of Rubber Ducky. Cassidy Lewis, who did the theme, the Sesame Street theme song, but Dr. Van Neuter Street instead. Thelonious John did Do to Ducky. Fergie Felipe Augusta did I Don't Want to Live on the Moon. Frank Simpson, I'm So Happy. And Liana Rivera did Rainbow Connection. So we the, the squirrels have tabulated their nuts. And the winner is David Rudman. Liana Rivera. <laughs> and there she is. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. The squirrels that are standing up. The squirrels are flying. <laughs> They're going crazy. Look at them. Hey, so as people can imagine, we 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 called Liana a little bit ahead to let her know. So she's had yeah. to keep her she's had to keep quiet and hold it in, not tell anybody. Uh, but Liana, congratulations! You were awesome. Thank you so much. It's such Aww. oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. And you're from where are you? Where are you again? Where do you live? Um, I'm from Long Island, New York. Long Island. So, you're 15, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. David, she's 15 years old, Long Island, New York. She's un wow. just amazing. Everybody was so great, but <laughs> I'm gonna she go got watch. the votes. She got Congratulations. the votes. Thank great. you so yeah, much. Everyone did so amazing. It really they did. did so amazing. Yeah, really great yeah. acts. Gene, do you want to show uh, what what the, we're sending our winner? Yes, of course. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here's a beautiful trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Hey. On, the back, Rivera. <laughs> on the back, see, you've got our Billy and I signed it for you. You can slide out the signatures if you want, or just keep them in their little sealed case. That's your little trophy. Oh, there you go, a little something, something. Yeah, I love it. I'll be sending that out to you. Well, uh, David, thank you again for doing this with us. We've asked Liana to take us out. Uh, yes. So take we really appreciate it. Well, you can't, when, you take, can't say that around Danny Trejo, remember? 
Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> she's she's going to end the show for us uh, with okay. her beautiful song that she did. And right. thank you, David. Love thank you, guys. I want to see thank you for, Bye, for bringing my family in. That was amazing. Thank Bobby. you so much. Thank you, guys. Love All right, you, Bobby. All right, thank you, Liana. Whenever, whenever, whenever you're ready. ready, Liana. All right. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions, and rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to believe it, but I know they're wrong. Wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under its spell, we know that it's probably magic. Have you been half asleep and have you heard voices? I've heard them calling my name. Is this the sweet sound? that calls the young sailors. The voice might be one and the same. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. It's something that I'm supposed to be. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers and me. La da da di da da do. La da 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 la di da do. 